the expiration date has come. Throw your perception away, get something new. When God talks about darkness, or when he references anything to darkness, he's not talking about the color. When you make claims of what dark energy is, and when you try to attribute it to a physical thing, you're in error. You can't see a dark person with your physical eyes. You can only feel a dark person. Darkness is an energy, not a color. When you start to associate darkness with evil, you're basically saying everything that's dark is evil. Ignorance is the reason why people think like this. Ignorance is the darkest kind of energy you can possess. Ignorance makes you unaware. Ignorance leads to uncertainty. Ignorance makes you blind. In fact, the energy of ignorance will eventually lead to complete failure. Nothing can be accomplished through ignorance. When God references anything to dark energy, he's saying they're ignorant, he's not calling them dark, he's saying their energy is. This isn't plain ignorance, it's borderline demonic, because ignorance has the power to create complete madness and chaos. God created dark animals, dark people, God created dark sand, dark gems, God created dark hair, God created dark eyes, God created dark clouds. There are endless creations of things of dark nature. When God created these things, he never once called them evil. The universe is surrounded with dark matter. Dark matter isn't considered to be evil. It's one of the vital sources of the universe. Dark matter is gravity, it's what holds the planets in place. If it wasn't for dark matter, this planet would have no support whatsoever, it would literally float through space. Even if God created something dark and considered it evil, it would still be his creation, it still comes from him. What I'm trying to say is the color dark should never be associated with evil. God didn't create ignorance, we did, by creating nonsense and claiming that God made it. God's creations speak for themselves literally, and if you haven't noticed ignorance hasn't said anything. The energy of ignorance is a product of humanity, not God. We created it, he didn't. We created ignorance by simply disregarding or not acknowledging the truth when it's right in front of us. As many say God is not the author of confusion. That confusion comes from ignorance. He's not the author of nether. Many people have yet to realize how ignorance completely separates them from God. Ignorance will have you believing a lie. Many people won't experience God not because he won't accept them. It will be because their ignorance won't allow it. The only thing standing in between you and God is your ignorance. In the end, many won't realize it until it's too late. Ignorance will have you believing you're more special than the average person because of your ignorance, you might assume God has favor of one race or religion. Imagine you being at a crossroads and in front of you there are two roads. One road takes you on a journey through religion. This road will lead you to the Christian God and the Christian's truth. The other road is completely different, something you've never heard of and something you never been taught. That road is unfamiliar to you. It goes completely against the Bible's version of God. So you assume that road has to be sim. Both roads have signs telling you the direction you're heading. One sign says religion. The other sign says the truth. Out of ignorance, many consider the Bible holds the most absolute truth, and Christianity teaches you that anything about God that's not in the Bible isn't considered to be true. Christians believe it's a sin to study the planets and the universe, as if God didn't create them also. So you take that familiar path. You've always considered the Bible's version of God is the only version of God. So you go on your way. After a while of traveling, you get tired. You need to rest. You enter your eternal rest, and after death, you are faced with the reality of the path you took. That path will ultimately determine your next journey in the afterlife. You are yet again faced with a crossroads, but this one is different. You won't have the option to choose. 
your next journey is solely based on your last one. At this point, you realize that next journey is nothing it ends at death. The path you didn't take, the path less traveled, seems to have a destination. But due to your lack of knowledge and willingness to learn, you can't understand what it is. Because that next journey is far beyond this realm. It surpasses the Christian's perception. The Christian perception of God has spoiled, it's outdated. The expiration date has passed. And you're still clinging on to it hoping it might be worth something in the end. It won't. The New Testament of the Bible was an updated version of God. That's why the Old Testament and the New Testament are completely different. It's the same God, He just evolved over time. The age of Pisces is over, we are now living in the age of Aquarius. Just as we have evolved, our perception of God should too. This is why many people believe God is only saving a particular set of people because their perception of God is outdated. When food gets old, we throw it away. We don't cling to it or try to eat it at some point because it would make us sick. It can also produce mold, and mold grows. It becomes a living organism, mold grows like a flower, it spreads with time. We can't hold on to this expired perception of God. When something has gone bad, you throw it away. You can't clean it up and try to present it as something else. You can't eat it, it will do more harm than good. It serves no purpose whatsoever. At some point we have to sit down and actually study the Bible, it was written before women had equal rights, it's out of date. I'm not saying do away with it and stop reading the Bible, I'm saying take a second look. Open your mind before opening the Bible. If your mind is closed and limited your perception of God will be too. If your mind is filled with ignorance and hatred your perception of God will hold those same qualities. Don't be that person who won't experience God due to their own ignorance. It would be sad to know you yourself prevented your own salvation.